As those cancellations just continue to come in, businesses across West Michigan are getting nervous. Yeah, many rely on those big summer celebrations and the people they draw to sustain their business year round. Fox 17's Marisa Oberly is live in Holland to explain the impact that coronavirus is having on the tourism industry. Yeah, Doug Janice, Holland would usually be getting ready for its annual Tulip Time Festival this time of year, but organizers canceled it about a month ago. It is one of many events impacted by COVID-19. And tourism experts now say the lack of those big events in an uncertain summer travel season could devastate the tourism economy here in West Michigan. Holland's Tulip Time Festival, B93's annual birthday bash, Electric Forest, and now the Cherry Festival. Just a handful of the hundreds of local events canceled or postponed by COVID-19. I'm worried for sure. Josh Cook is the owner of one adventure company in Makatawa. Each summer, he rents kayaks, boats, and paddle boards to thousands of tourists who come to West Michigan for various events or just to vacation. Typically this time of year, we'll be doing boat maintenance maintenance and cleaning. Of course, we aren't doing that right now. And while his business doesn't typically open until May, it's already seeing the impact. Our revenue for pre-bookings is down 80% uh, compared to last year. We were really hoping for a growth season. And so, so far we haven't seen that that's gonna be the case. The Michigan Economic Development Corporation says travelers spent around $3.5 billion in West Michigan in 2018. It's devastating. It's, it's horrible. Dan Sipple, the CEO of the West Michigan Tourism Association, says it's hard to estimate how much of that spending will be impacted by COVID-19, but he explains it won't be good. Most of those events right now have been canceled. The big things like the Holland Tulip Festival, $46 million to that area out of that, that's that's going to have year-long repercussions. Sipple adds even if Governor Gretchen Whitmer lifts the stay-at-home order set to expire at the end of the month, other restrictions will likely still be in place, adding additional challenges to those in the tourism industry. One of my board members today runs a canoe livery. They have no way if they're still social distancing they have no way to transport people to the end of the paddle to pick them up and bring them back. You're going to look at, have to look at everything new again. And while it's not ideal, Sipple and Cook agree it is what it is, so businesses should try to adapt. If we want to be able to enjoy as much of that as we can, we have to adhere to this, and it has to be voluntary adhering to this as much as possible to be able to have a portion of our summer. We uh, don't want to spread the coronavirus any further than, you know, it's already spread. We are not going to be a contributing factor of it. And the West Michigan Tourism Association says to make up for the lack of that tourism during this time, they will be hosting virtual tours uh, during the next few weeks. For more information on that and this story, you can head to fox17online.com. Reporting live in Holland, Marisa Oberly, Fox 17 News. All right. Thank you for that, Marisa. And of course, we're all very upset about it, too. Those are some of our favorite events, Absolutely. not just to cover, but to go to. It's changing ourselves. everything this year. Yeah. Yeah.